Hey guys, my name is Simsy and welcome to the second last episode of my FIFA 16 Manchester United career mode for Season 1. This is episode 23. Now guys, in today's episode we have the last match of the Premier League against promoted side Bournemouth. So you'll find out whether or not we lift the Premier League title here today. Now, Ander Herrera has asked for a wage increase. I'm most happy to do so, even though he's not a first-team player. We have the money from progressing all the way to the Champions League to give him an increase. And I don't see why not. He's been a very influential player fresh off the bench. Yuri here is going through another training session. Hopefully he can get up to an 81. Even though we signed him in January, he's already gone up a plus 4. Quite possibly a plus 5. How fantastic is that? He's embraced uh, the English life and he's adapted quite well. Now later on, guys, in the episode, he's gone up a plus 5. So he has gone up the 81. We have a match in the Champions League final against Barcelona. Barcelona have prevailed against Atletico Madrid, but uh, currently the top goal scorers are Sanchez and Diouf. So no United players will be getting the golden booth unless we score an absolute, well, if someone bags an absolute fucking shit ton like Lacazette at home against Bournemouth. But uh, yeah... Start things off, Wilson on the ball finds Atsu trying to create something for the newly promoted side. Only goes as far as David De Gea. He throws it out to Wayne Rooney and Gosling gets his shot off. Gets spilled to Damian. Damian couldn't even get it wide. And Bournemouth did manage to create anything off that attack. But uh, Wilson on the ball. Unfortunately, in real life, he has a pretty bad injury. So it'll be interesting to see if that is the side of whether or not Bournemouth go down in real life, but uh, creates a very, very nice chance. Stretches David De Gea, and it's still drawing 0-0 just before the 45th minute. West Brom were on the attack. We had very little number of chances in the first half. It came in the second, where Memphis Depay runs down the wing. He finds the head of Lacazette to make it 1-0. Superb ball in from young Memphis, and Lacazette... Nay, well, scores another goal for his rising goal scoring tally. Now, I did say this is the second last episode. After this, in the last episode, I'll be going through the squad report. I will show how the other leagues shape up around the world. But you're most welcome to let me know in the comment section down below now. I don't hold a vote anyway, I'll hold a general consensus. But uh, do you guys want to see season two of the FIFA 16 Manchester United Crew mode? Yes or no? I'm quite happy to do it. Um, but if you guys, I don't know, don't want me to do it or do, but uh, if I do do season two, let me know in the comment section down below as well, players you'd like me to sign, we will have a hell of a budget, and there are a fair few players that I would like to sign, maybe bring Ronaldo back, or Pogba, but guys, I am delighted to announce that we have officially, yes, officially won the Premier League. And to be perfectly honest, it's down to the players we signed. Obviously, signing Matt Hummels was influential. Uh, at centre-back role, Marco Royce creating the plays up front, and our main man, Lacazette, banging them into the back of the net. And alongside Yannick Balassi as well, he was instrumental as well, obviously being the cheapest of the signings and was a superb replacement for Ashley Young and Valencia. But I'm delighted to see Matt Hummels there. I did bring uh, Wayne Rooney off in the substitute. And that's, I find that stupid. I, <laughs> Wayne is like... It's obviously programmed in the game that... Um, whoever has the captain's armband lifts the trophy. But, obviously, because they substituted Wayne Rooney, he's technically not the captain at this point. Matt Hummels is. But, hey, at the end of the day, it's only a small, minor discrepancy. But, guys, we have lifted the FA... Oh, the Capital One Cup. We got knocked out of the FA. My mistake. So, if we beat Barcelona here today... Yes, that's right. We will win... The treble. So pat yourselves on the back if you got the prediction right of me winning the Premier League. Superb run. Absolutely superb. Now Yuri's going for another training run. Hopefully, maybe by the end of the season we can get up to an 82. How fucking phenomenal would that be? So that 20 million um, price tag we did pay for him. Some of you said he was overpriced. Uh, should be worth it. But I always knew that it wasn't overly that much. Sending just the amount of growth he has. Right, 
Sorry about that one, guys. Just had to have a quick sip of water. My throat's been uh, acting up. And I don't want to lose it, so I can't do any commentaries. But, wow, Barcelona managed to win 6-1. Really? Over, huh. Well, Lacazette is currently the top goal scorer. Buffon is up there on the clean sheets, which is good. Ramsey picked up two reds, but Neymar scored seven. But uh, hopefully we can win the Champions League final, scrape a victory against Barcelona, but it's going to be a tough one, to say the least. And it's going to be interesting to see who they play. So we are playing at the Allianz Arena in the Champions League final. I hope we can pull a win. Win the treble. But, uh, yeah, obviously playing at Bayern Munich Stadium in Germany. Very much a neutral ground. A decent run, but players to watch out for. Neymar as well. I don't know why Lacazette isn't a player to watch out for, scoring 10. But Barcelona are playing an interesting formation for, like, a 4-3-3 defensive. Bravo in goal. They're not playing Stegen. And they're not playing Mascherano in the centre-back role. We're going with our stock centre team, as always. A 4-2-3-1. Lacazette up front. Marco Royce and Memphis Depay tearing up the wings. Wayne Rooney in the cam with the ability to go up forward. Bastian Schweinsteiger and Morgan Schneider in the best centre defensive pairing in the... Well, arguably in the world at the moment for my career mode. I would most definitely agree. Matteo Damian and Luke Shaw, although they are, they are young, they have a lot of potential and defensive qualities and Jones and Matt Hummels holding up the back line. And David De Gea, superb, superb goalkeeper. Much better than Bravo. But uh, we had a couple of early chances early on. Most of them were counter-attacks. And Bastian Schweinsteiger here managed to get past Matthew. Matthew. And, uh, well, <laughs> Bastian Schweinsteiger's back in his old habitat at Germany in the former Bayern State. He manages to make it 3-2. Gets a pretty decent reflection. I don't know why they're playing uh, Matthew at centre-back. We managed to get into a very dangerous position. Bastian Schweinsteiger manages to whip it in. Jordi Alba was just... What the fuck was Jordi Alba doing there? Was definitely at fault. Got in the way of Bravo. It might have even hit him, but we managed to go 1-0 up here. And Bastian Schweinsteiger, of all players, managed to pick up his first goal. Sergio Busquets on the ball. Plays through Danny Alves. He's pushing up, Luke Shaw pushing way too far forward and whips it into Luis Suarez. Thankfully for me, it wasn't converted into anything threatening. But Schweinsteiger on the ball, determined to create another play after his goal. Lacazette gets in a very dangerous situation past PK with the slide tackle. And what are the odds? A penalty in the Champions League final just before halftime. If we can go 2-0 up here, it will be a huge morale boost. Wayne Rooney, the designated penalty kick taker. I was umming and ahhing other, umming and ahhing whether or not to go with Marco Royce. But um, I did because he has the better penalty stats. Marco Royce steps up and puts it wide. Oh, God. I didn't go straight down the middle, left or right. I managed to try put it wide and that was, well... That could be the make or break for the episode. But Jordi Alba, or the match, on the ball, finds Suarez. Suarez puts in Neymar. It gets blocked. Neymar manages to maintain possession. Hits the post. Should have scored there. But Suarez whips it in back to Neymar. Scored seven goals in the Champions League. Lacazette scored ten up the other end, trying to break away. He managed to get tackled by PK beforehand and just keeps on running. He holds up the play. Wayne Rooney finds Royce, and once again, the Barcelona defense crumbles. Luckily for them, Lacazette, sorry, not Lacazette, uh, Iniesta and Rakitic managed to get it clear, but Memphis on the ball, determined to create something past Jordi, uh, Iniesta. Jordi Alba there as well, but uh, does both of them. Memphis Depay on the ball, plays it wide to Wayne Rooney, and Wayne Rooney makes it 2-0 in the Champions League final. Just before the 68th minute. And what a way to score there. We were very, very lucky to start things off. And the FIFA momentum really put it in. Barcelona, they should be at least 1 or 2-2 two, uh, two, two draw up. Here at the moment, to be perfectly honest. That ball 
from, uh, I don't know who it was from, but it was to Neymar to maintain position. Very unlucky to hit the post, but I really don't know why they're playing Brava and Go. I would have played uh, to Stegen, but uh, nevertheless... Bass are still trying to get some sort of something back here, but Jones manages to tack, tackle a Busquets. Now on the counter-attack here, Wayne Rooney manages to play through Marco Royce with the Ronaldo chop. He gets tackled in the box, and another penalty. Two penalties in the Champions League final. Now, obviously, because Marco Royce missed, maybe I should have played Wayne Rooney before. So... I go safe and choose Wayne Rooney to go straight down the middle to make it 3-0 in the Champions League final. Obviously, we're incredibly lucky with the first goal. The second goal is once again incredibly lucky. Obviously, you've got quality players on both sides, but it does come down to luck. <laughs> Obviously, Louis van Gaal is very uh, much of that philosophy. Luck was on our side in this match, and it looks like we're going to be winning the treble here today. But, uh, well, whether or not David De Gea keeps the clean sheet, it'll be interesting to see Neymar get in a very dangerous position. Matt Hummels with the save, and uh, doesn't get as far as Neymar. Jordi Alba to Danny Alves to Suarez, and unfortunately, to make Barcelona's woes even worse... Rakitic manages to pick up an injury, but Marco Royce on the ball, breaks away. Does he make it 4-0? He does. Finds Lacazette, and once again on another two counter-attacks, absolutely deadly. Barcelona playing Bravo and uh, Matthew Eady, I think. What's his name? Matthew? I can't quite remember. Very, very stupid in uh, my opinion. But hey, you win some, you lose some. What are you going to do? And we managed to win the Champions League final. So I'm absolutely delighted that you've stayed around for this journey. We've managed to win the treble. But uh, after this match, it's made me realize that I need to be playing on Legendary. So if I do do Season 2 of the Manchester United career mode, I do promise you that I will be doing uh, it on Legendary. And obviously any other um, career modes on Legendary. From now on, I wanted to start off this career mode on world class, obviously to get used to the game, and we managed to have a very, very successful run in both domestic and in the Champions League, but I'm absolutely delighted to see the boys up there and to see Wayne Rooney lift up the trophy. So guys, just want to thank each and every one of you for your fantastic support on this career mode. If you've left a like, a favourite, a comment, Superb, absolutely fantastic, and I genuinely wouldn't be where I am as a YouTuber without your guys' support. If you've been from day one, or a year, or you've only been here for just this episode, I thank you guys for all the support. But, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. And after you've watched this video, after you've watched this first season, remember one thing. Okay? Make sure to go out and have a fantastic resty day. Make sure you do, because I know I sure as shit will. Once again, guys, I can't thank you guys enough for the support and following my journey. Now, this isn't the last episode of the career mode. We still have one more. I'll be going through the in-depth stats. I'll be showing the squad report. I'm going to be showing you who won the Bundesliga, the La Liga, and I'll also be showing you a sneak peek of Season 2 if you guys decide uh, to do it. Also, the pre-contract players we signed, such as Ibrahimovic, Carrillo, and whatnot. But, I'm officially going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to have a fantastic rest of your day once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys. Goodbye.